Jen from M Just Like You and I am in a new room and if you guys haven't checked out my room tour um, I will post it right underneath in the info box. Alright so I am actually playing around with some makeup and I did my makeup and I'm like okay I have to come up with something to do a tutorial because I've missed doing it and I've missed just being there and um, showing you guys new things and just interacting on YouTube and I've been MIA for so long now moving and so I wanted to do this video as an update as well as share with the, some of the stuff that um, are my favorites for July and August since I know for July I didn't post up a favorites and I love watching those. So basically for my update I have moved for school. Um, let's see. I told you guys that I was moving to Florida because I got accepted like months ago and um, I was planning on going to Florida even though it wasn't my first choice I did get accepted so I mean of course I'm gonna go and um, last minute my first choice pharmacy school which is in San Antonio um, accepted me and so I got like two weeks to move and go to orientation so during that time I tried to um, actually make some videos ahead of time which I did but then, I guess it was just not meant to be because my computer had a recall, the iMac, they have a recall on their hard drive, so I had to actually take my iMac to the Apple Store, and I'm like, okay, well that's not bad, because then I can just um, edit on my MacBook. But also with that, it started going crazy, and I don't know what was going on, the mouse pad wasn't working, so I wasn't, I didn't have a computer, so I was disconnected from YouTube, disconnected from the internet, disconnected from basically everything. So I couldn't do that. I couldn't edit any videos and I'm just like, oh. So then I moved and everything and you know how stressful that can be trying to settle in and I'm like a perfectionist. Like I want everything the way I want it and I want everything to be done and before I could do anything. So I'm settled in as you can see in my last video. So. I am trying to play with some of the settings for my videos, like I am sitting at a window and then having some light feature, um, fixtures, and then I wanted to play with some of the new palettes I purchased and I wanted to show you guys. So um, yeah, I mean, I've just been trying to settle in and um, try to deliver the best YouTube videos I can to you all. Alright, so that is my update-ish. I guess that's for school. And then my other update is I actually signed a contract with Style Hall. I don't know if you guys ever watch Style Hall, but Style Hall is like a network on YouTube that talks about beauty, fashion, everything modern, um, everything from really young for teens and to working moms to stay-at-home moms. So um, if you are interested in that channel, check it out. I'll put it in the bottom link below and um, sometimes they have episodes where they will feature a lot of different gurus for that week and um, they're really helpful. It introduced to you many of the well-known gurus as well as new gurus so that you can you know actually see that everyone has different personalities, different tips and everything is helpful so hopefully you guys will actually check it out and find that it's helpful and I'm going to be on there so that's something really exciting. Um, what else? I got some stuff sent by some companies but I'm not, I'm trying to test it out. I haven't had time to so I'm going to be doing more reviews soon but as you guys know I'm very honest with my reviews so um, I don't, I hope you don't think like, oh, now she has people sending her stuff and she's going to like say yay, yay, yay. But you know me, I always have something to complain about, but then also find the positive because I want everyone to see things in different sides, you know, because everything has its good and bad. So anyways, let's get to the favorites. This is going to be my July and April, um, April. this is my going to be my July and um, August. Alright, so let's start out with skincare. My skin has been actually really great. I mean, I thought that being stressed out, I would, you know, break out or something, but I guess it's just, um, you gotta work with the weather. It's like 105, 107, sometimes 111 here in Texas. So, you have to not keep your skin so oily and 
help hydrate it since it's so hot doesn't mean that you have to wear less moisturizer. You actually have to wear more just to keep it hydrated. The more your skin is hydrated, the more it's going to look refreshed as well as you won't, I guess, be oily because your skin secretes oil in order to keep it moisturized. That's why. Alright, so the two things that I am absolutely loving is the Chanel's Hydra Max um, gel cream and the serum. I'm actually been using it for months now and it has really helped my skin stay hydrated which doesn't clog my pores and because it's so hydrating I feel like my skin is never oily even though I do have combination skin. So this is the serum and the serum is really nice. It smells really great and it's um it dries really fast, but it gives your skin that really great finish. I know whenever I uh, work on my clients, I use it on their skin. And a lot of people have problem areas like um, really dry skin around here or like, you know, some patches here where makeup, you can't put makeup onto the skin if there's a lot of dead skin or flakes. Because a lot of cl um, other people, you know, because there's people that just, you know, we they don't know that they need to exfoliate. So... This is like the emergency, I think. It's really, really great, and um, I just find that it keeps my skin hydrated all the way to the end of the day. And that goes also with the gel cream. It has a um, gel cream also as a um, moisturized cream, and the moisturized cream one is a little bit too moisturizing, so I think that's what I'm going to switch to for the winter. But for um, the summer, the gel is so like refreshing. Alright, so the next skincare thing that I have been in love with is Cure Natural Aqua Gel. And I have seen this on Bub's Beauty, I've seen it on From Head to Toe, and I really wanted to try it, but I was really afraid. Like, I wasn't sure, since it's, you know, everything on the back is actually, like, not in English. So, I was really afraid, like, yeah, it says natural water, but, you know... What if there's like millions of really strong chemicals and my skin is going to just like fall all off and then, you know, when I go in the sun, I'm just going to get like all these freckles or something. So I was really hesitant, but, um, you know, after watching Jen and then she having a separate review and then talking about it on um, her blog and everything, and I actually purchased this on Cure.com. I'm actually going to put the link on the bottom for you guys to check it out if you want to buy it. And I've absolutely loved this because... It is so gentle. Like, I don't really like exfoliators that has so much of that grainy stuff because it is kind of harsh on sensitive skin. With this, it's so just like water, literally. And then you just kind of put it on, and then I guess when you are scrubbing your face in circular motions, this kind of grabs onto your dead skin, and then it just comes off. So it's actually really nice. And I find that with this, it's... It makes my skin so nice after the night, like the night in the morning. Oh my gosh, my skin looks like brand new skin. So, I have it here on my hand and let me like rub the back of my hand. And do you see that? That's dead skin. Isn't that disgusting? But also good. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, um, I was kind of doubtful because I'm like, okay, what if this is not skin and this is actually just like residue that dries up from the chemicals inside of this bottle? So, what I did was I actually, you shouldn't do this, but I exfoliate with the cure like one night and then the next night I did the exact same thing to see if any dead skin comes out because like the next day you're dead skin isn't supposed to sloth off yet. So the next day I actually put it on and everything and guess what? Like nothing, nothing happened. So that means it really does rub off dead skin and when your skin doesn't have a lot of dead skin on there, it doesn't come off. So that was my way of actually testing it out and it passed. So I'm absolutely loving that. And I don't think I'll ever use any other exfoliator because this is just so gentle. Alright, so the next skincare product that I've been loving is the eye treatment by Basha and this is from Sephora and I absolutely love this it comes in a pump like this and the reason why I love this is because it's kind of like a jelly silicone film kind of feeling but then when you put it on and everything it doesn't cause that like clogging on your pores right here 
and also it's so soothing so soft but the best part about this product is that it de-puffs completely like I'll have allergic reactions to just allergies or to cats or whatever that's in the air and then I put it on my skin eyes will just like de-puff like so fast like I just put it on at night and then the next morning it's gone so it's really really good if you have puffy eyes um, I don't know if it actually diminishes dark circles but I think it does a really good job of de-puffing for sure alright so moving along let's talk about makeup so I haven't really been shopping for makeup trying to save a lot of money so that I can decorate my room and my apartment and everything but um, when the Urban Decay 15th Anniversary Palette came out, I was like, I have to have this no matter what. Because you know what? It has so many eyeshadows. There's 15 eyeshadows. And not only is there 15, but each eyeshadow is actually full size. Full size Urban Decay eyeshadows are usually like 17 and this is 15 of them so you're saving like hundreds of dollars just getting this so this was only 55 I believe and it's available at Macy's, Sephora, JCPenney's that has Sephora, um, Ulta and even though you know sometimes there is they are sold out on UrbanDecay.com you can actually kind of ask those um, beauty stores if when are their shipments and kind of like ask them okay well could you give me a call or put it on hold or something like that you just kind of have to stalk them a little bit and that's what I did and um, I think it's so worth it I love the quality of these eyeshadows this is my favorite for August because it is so nice even you don't have to use an primer at all. I mean, I know primers are supposed to enhance it, but the eyeshadow is so great. I think I even like this so much better than, let's say, MAC, because the quality, the color is so unique. And these 15 colors are actually full um, new colors, like it's not repeats. So I really, really like it, and I'm going to do a tutorial on it soon. And I actually am wearing it today. So if you guys like it, and you like this look, maybe I'll do a tutorial on this look. Alright, so, moving on with makeup, I have absolutely been reaching for and loving um, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils, and I think I mentioned using this a couple times in my tutorials, but I never noticed how much I love them now, just because I don't have my, um, Urban Decay Potion Eye Primer, because I lost it through just packing and I have to wear some eye makeup when I go out and stuff like that and so I've been using this only and I actually even like it more just because I like layering it underneath different colors like layering this like bluish purple underneath like a blue and bringing out the purple and just playing with it and instead of just you know enhancing the color you're actually making it look more duochrome or um, multi-dimensional Alright, so also Urban Decay, I've been loving the 24 hour or 24 7 eye pencil just because um, I'm really sensitive and my eyes water really easily and a lot of eye pencils don't really stay on or they smear and this actually doesn't smear on me and I really really like that and the color payoff is great. Um, even though the Milani one a lot of people say they like, it actually kinds of like smear into my eyes and then it waters my eyes. So I really like that one. So check it out if you do have sensitive eyes. And something else that I've been loving is the Age Instant Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline and this is the double like double duo type of concealer. And one side is the concealer and one side is the con the um, highlighter. And I've mentioned this before in a lot of my videos, but what I've been liking is not only the concealer, but the highlighter. And I've been using it um, on my eyebrows because I haven't bought a tweezer or I haven't waxed my eyebrows or anything like that in a while since I've been moving. So what I have been doing in order to kind of hide um, the bushiness of my eyebrows is actually drawing in my eyebrows with like an eyeshadow or something. And then what I do is I use the highlighter to highlight around where my eyebrows are. And it really just 
enhances your eyebrows and camouflages a lot of the hair if you don't have time to pluck or wax. So I've been loving that. And it lasts all day. Alright, so the foundation I've been loving is, of course, Tint Idol Ultra. This is my holy grail, and I'm so sorry I have not done a video on this. I probably will do this maybe right after this video. I'm not sure yet, but it's because I've actually made like two or three of these videos, but it keeps getting lost. I have no idea why, but I'm sure I'm going to have it up maybe this week, and I'm so sorry that so many of you guys have asked me, what is your holy grail foundation? Can you please do a review on it? Because, you know, of course, everybody wants to know um, whoever's holy grail foundation is. And I absolutely love this, and I am going to do a review, I promise. And I'm so, so sorry that I haven't done it, but I love this. And I don't actually use this full on since it is summer, but whenever I do need some foundation, I do mix this with my moisturizer, and it works great. And a brush that I have been loving is the Duo Fiber F50 by Sigma, and it's the Duo Fiber one, like where there's the natural bristles and the synthetic bristles. And I absolutely been loving this, even though it felt so flimsy to me, I didn't want to use like it on my face for like, I just used it for blush. But now what I've been using is using loose powder and just swirling it in and then bouncing it on my face, and it actually sets the foundation so much better. And it kind of reminds me of those puffs that you use that gives you that airbrush, flawless look. But instead, you instead of holding like just a pad, and I feel like it's so much more sanitizing to use this and then washing it off. It bounces and it, it just feels really great. So it works well and it gives me a really great finish. Alright, so um, another thing that I've been loving is this makeup remover by Shonya Kashuk. This is from Target, really, really cheap. It is very comparable to the By Facil Lancome. Um, I haven't been able to go to the mall, that's why I purchased this um, because I wanted to get the By Facil, but it's too out of the way. So I purchased this and I really, really like it. I think you guys should try it out. It does remove all types of eye makeup waterproof, non waterproof, cream, gel, powder, everything. And. I think that is it based on beauty, but I wanted to share with you guys what I have been obsessed with. And it's this beautiful necklace from Forever 21. It is so cute. It's kind of like Aztec, um, kind of like a bullet, kind of, I don't know. Like, it's just really rock and roll, but then at the same time, it's feminine because it just kind of dangles down. So I really have been liking this and just wearing it with like a white t-shirt like today or just something simple. And then what I also have been loving is leopard print. I have no idea why. I used to not really like it. I don't know. It's just it didn't seem very me. I don't really like like animal kind of patterns or anything like that. But i just been loving it for just accents, like to wear really neutral clothing. Since I am been wearing a lot of professional clothing, I want to kind of give my outfits a little bit of a pop. So the two things that I've been loving for leopard print is this belt that I got from Target. I've been looking for a skinny belt after watching um, Miss Jessica Harlow. Um, she loves her leopard print skinny belts because it just makes any outfit really chic. So I've been really in search of that and I didn't want to pay so much money for a real one or anything like that. So um, I love this one from Target because it's cheap. It was like $12 and it's so cute and it has like that furriness-ish to make it look like it's real. And it actually does look very high quality in my opinion for Target. So I've been loving that to just cinch really flowy shirts or over blazers over cardigans and it just works well and my absolute favorite for this month is my new Tory Burt flats and they are leopard as well they are so cute I love the gold against the brown and the black and I love the fact that it's just so chic and since it's patent I'm really confident that it won't get ruined so fast because if you're going to spend more money to get like high quality shoes where they're more comfortable and they look 
beautiful and chic then I mean you want to find like a material that is going to last longer I don't want to get a material where I know like in a couple months or like a year it's going to wear down I want it to always look new so I've been loving this and yeah I actually got this at an outlet I live like about 30 minutes away from this really big designer outlet um, I'm trying to kind of like restrain myself from going there so often but Alice just has really good deals. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that is it for my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that um, you like the new setup. Tell me if the lighting is okay. And um, sorry I rambled a lot in this video, but I haven't seen you guys in so long and I wanted to update and talk and share. So um, please comment below if you have any questions. Talk to me. I love reading those comments. Rate below and subscribe if you are interested. So I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.